Hey everybody and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is part of a large series of videos that will help you to use Excel to do statistical analysis. To get started, you probably want to have the data analysis tool pack uh, uploaded into Excel. So when you come into Excel, when you open it up and when you open up whatever data set you're working on, if you choose data up here along the ribbon and then you look over to the right hand side if you don't see anything here if you don't see analysis and you don't see data analysis and so on that means that you don't have the data analysis tool pack that is not a problem it's very straightforward to get in most cases and so in order to get a hold of that you want to come over and choose file then you want to choose options and then from the options area you want to choose add-ins because you want to add this in so if I select add-ins I can see over here that the analysis tool pack is one of the options and that's what we're looking to add in so that we can do more statistical analysis like ANOVA testing and t-testing and histograms and so on so when I choose the analysis tool pack I don't want to click OK this is very tempting but it doesn't work you want to click go and when you click go it says okay here's some of the goodies you can add in now you can just add the analysis tool pack if you want or you can also add the one that has um, VBA with it um, currency tools and so on that's up to you but in order to do the statistics you need this analysis tool pack then you can click OK and once you do that it'll go through the process of creating this option for you when you log into Excel and once you have this option you can select it and from this option, and let me scroll back up here, you can do uh, single factor ANOVA, two-way ANOVA with and without replication, you can do correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics, uh, F-testing, histograms, regression sampling, and all the different t-tests, the paired data t-test and the independent samples t-test, as well as the z-test. So lots of excellent options once you have this data analysis uh, added on. Thanks for joining me and keep a lookout for all the rest of the how-to videos on using Excel for statistical analysis.